my, uh, my, my spidey sense starts to tingle. I get red flags go up when they want me to believe something. I always want to know, what are they trying to get me to think? And usually it involves some kind of fear or some kind of scare tactic. Well, guess what, you guys? You got an immune system that's supposed to take care of viruses and flus and, and pathogens, and that immune system is suppressed by fear. So the very fact that we're in fear about Ebola is the best way to get Ebola or to get viruses or to get colds or to suffer from things. And that's why I'm always saying, don't fall into fear. If somebody is promoting fear, turn it off. Be skeptical. Don't pay attention. Fear is never your friend. Anger, distress, these are all ways that we age. These are all ways that our immune system shuts down or is at least suppressed. So you got to be really careful when anybody is promoting fear and this Ebola thing does nothing but promote fear. Build your immune system. Don't eat the corporate crap. Don't eat the McDonald's, don't eat the Nestle's, you know, don't eat the stuff that they want us to eat via commercials and that they're promoting on the same TV shows, where they, uh, same news shows where they tell you about how bad Ebola is and get on a nutritional supplement program. Get 50 milligrams of zinc a day. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. These are all things we can do that are in our control that we can do to build our immune system to prevent Ebola. You know, there's viruses. We live in a world of viruses. They're all over. There's parasites all over. There's bacteria all over. There's toxins all over. We're swimming and breathing in a toxic planet. So you can't really run away from toxins. But what you can do is you can build and strengthen your body's ability to withstand these pathogens and toxins and viruses and poisons, etc. And you can stay away from anything that suppresses your body's ability to handle these kinds of things. And that's how you handle Ebola, in my opinion. Now, the last thing you asked was about Bouchamp and, uh, and, uh, and Louis Pasteur, and that's a fascinating story. Um, uh, Bouchamp and Pasteur uh, uh, conducted this battle in the 19th century where Pasteur uh, promoted something called the germ theory. Back then, they didn't know about germs and bacteria. And Bouchamp said it wasn't so much germs and bacteria, but it was the territory. It was the body itself where the germs uh, proliferate that the germs can actually attack and, and come to rest in because the body itself is the immune system, the body's defensive system, is somehow suppressed. So Bouchamp said what I'm saying. Build the body, build the defenses, make sure that the, the territory is not conducive to germs. The body's territory is not conducive to proliferation of germs or viruses or toxins or pathogens, etc. And then uh, this was this great battle that want, went on in the in 19th century, in the 1800s, and uh, Louis, uh, Louis Pasteur said, no, it's the germs, and Pouchamp said, no, it's the territory. Interestingly, on, on uh, Louis Pasteur's deathbed, and by the way, we get the term pasteurize from Louis Pasteur, who came up with the germ theory, pasteurization is killing germs. Anyway, Louis Pasteur on his deathbed said, chakra bleu, it is the territory, something like that. I don't know if he said chakra bleu, but he said it is the territory. Bouchamp was right. So Louis Pasteur on his deathbed actually agreed with Bouchamp and said, yes, it is the territory that is the problem, the territory, namely the body itself that needs to be addressed. Is that what you meant, Wesley? I think we lost Wes. Okay, thanks for your call. Thanks for pointing that out, Wes. All right, I'm going to try to run through our calls real quickly here because we only have a couple of minutes. Truth Raider, what's going on, my man? How you doing, Carl? Good, good morning, my friend. Pharmacist Ben from beautiful Boulder, Colorado. Good morning, sir. I got only two minutes. I want to squeeze in some more calls. So what's cooking on? What's on your mind, Truth Raider? Let's talk about the phenomenon of 3D printing and life extension technologies really quick. Okay, okay, go ahead. Well, what is your research on that, and do you believe in that? And what what do they use to be able to do that? How is this possible? Three D printing. Yes. I just saw this really cool thing on C-SPAN yesterday where they had a guy talking to Congress. It was interesting. There was only two people. Yeah, he was talking to two congressmen. No, none of the other congressmen thought it was important enough. But anyway, he was showing all the things that could be built with 3D printing. And these days, they can make some incredible, incredible parts for machines and for cars and for toys and for industrial equipment that are complex and made up of, uh, made up of themselves made up of smaller parts simply by printing them with a printer. They have, or they have prototype kidneys that they're doing with 3D printing machines. They got food that they're printing with 3D printing machines. This guy was showing clothing that was printed with a 3D ma uh, printing machine. Shoes and socks that were printed with 3D printing machine. Can you imagine a world like this, Truth Raider, where we print whatever we need? There's going to be no more stores in the future. No more Walmart. No more Kmart. because you'll print everything that you need. What's even more phenomenal about 3D printing, and by the way, you can get a 3D printing machine for like $1,000 at OfficeMax, but 
what's even cooler about 3D printing machines now is people are actually donating software to the internet or via the internet that people can download for free to print things. There are uh, people, good Samaritans, and people who just want to help out are actually putting software that you can get for free on the internet. You download the software to print anything, to print whatever the software will tell you to print. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And it really, to me, it's, it's an exciting, it, it's an, uh, it presents exciting prospects for the future. You know, there's always doom and gloom about the future. Well, I don't have doom and gloom about the future. Yes, we're going through a rough patch. It kind of reminds me of when, you know, on Star Trek, when, when we went, when they went from one, from warp speed two to warp speed three, and they went through this kind of choppy period, and then all of a sudden they went into the next, the next level. As we take leaps, quantum leaps from one level to another, there's a sort of period where it gets choppy and bumpy and rough, and then you go into smooth sailing. And to me, all the problems are economic problems, are global problems, are political problems, are uh, military and terrorist problems, all those kinds of things are just our culture, our world, humanity, going from one level of evolution to another. We're about to take an evolutionary leap, and technology is leading the way. Uh, not that we're using technology appropriately all the time, but in the way I look at it, 3D printing and technological advances are leading the way and pointing the way towards a very, very exciting future, a future that I'm excited about. All right, thanks for your call, Truth Raider. I, I, know I, I don't know if I answered your question, and I apologize if I left anybody on hold. Please call back tomorrow and uh, we'll take you uh, first up. Tell our call screener we let John hold and we'll take you first up. And we only have an hour on the bright side and, and uh, so much to talk about. Anyway, thanks for listening, folks. If you're interested in joining the Bright Side Ben team, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470. We'll be back at you tomorrow with good health information. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin? Acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 800-538-5252 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive Plus now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive Plus, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 800-538-5252. This is our exclusive radio offer, never on TV. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive Plus with free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Call 800-538-5252. That's 800-538-5252. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800